today we are going to turn back time and try an old technique that revolutionized my art. It's so simple, it's fun and I think the results are very cheerful and beautiful. Let me show you how to do it. If you would like to own this original piece, please check out my website abcreativeofficial.com. England is full of blossoms these days and one of my absolute favorite shrubs is the Japanese quince. It comes in many colors, coral, pink or even red. And they're gorgeous. So that's my inspiration for today. I also feel like revisiting one of my absolute favorite pouring techniques, straw blown flowers. And I think that the branch of quince will look really pretty on a longer canvas. What I always do first is I check if I've got any leftover colors that will be useful for my painting. And I do have some. I added some white to this color. This was a really nice coral. It was amaranth red, but I added white. This was pink blush. And I also have some blues, one with a little bit of turquoise in it. You can see here. This one is a bit thickish, so I'm checking them all. And I want them all to be absolutely the same. This is especially important for this technique. Oh, let me... I still think it's a bit on the thicker side. Okay, so a bit of water. This is just water. What's in my paint? One part of paint to roughly one part of my pouring medium, which is PVA glue and water, and one part of Floetrol. Okay, that's better. And I'm checking them all. So this is the they forget me nots blue. And we've got one white, one off-white, with a hint Naples yellow and a little bit of burnt sienna. So not many colors and I am going to use those two as a swipe. And these I'm going to spread nicely here. So these are my background colors. Goodness me, I haven't used this straw for probably, I don't know, two years. I actually use the old plastic one. Yes, I know it's plastic, but I've been using it for probably over six months. So I'm a bit like, ah, oh, what's going to happen? But this was fun. I just remember how much I loved it. I made quite a few poppies using this technique. I think I forgot about the color for the inside of the flower, for the midsection. So I'm going to use scarlet red. Maybe some dots. I don't know. Kind of random, but I want these colors to be sort of closer to the midsection. Little bit here and there. Don't want so much. These are so pretty, aren't they? Oh, very nice. I want definitely the most white in between. Has to be enough for the whole canvas. So I might go with whatever this is. This is off white. When you haven't done something for a very long time, it's actually so exciting. I do have I've noticed seasons for various techniques and media, but I think it's normal. I, could, I don't think I could ever, ever, ever stick to one thing. Fortunately, I do work as an art teacher, so I, I do a completely different stuff with my students and on the channel. To show all the other things that I do, I probably will have to have another channel because I know that lots of you oh, might not be interested in. Can't decide which of the blues I want to see more. I'm going to use both. I do like this one. This is more like sky blue, but... And I don't want many cells. No, I don't. There's no silicone anywhere. So if the cells appear, well, that's it. <laughs> I think I'm ready. If I was doing it with a um, paper towel, I would make it moist. With this, I don't need to. Beautiful colors. Let me drag it a bit down. No worries, I'm going to collect all the leftover paint as usual. And that's how I do it. And by the way, I can touch the edges. As you can see, this is the probably first time that I didn't put it higher. Uh, and there's a reason for it. 
because I'll be turning it a lot, that's why. Oh, those scallops are seriously, seriously pretty and I am uh, concerned. I might destroy them if I add the red. I really don't want to spoil it. Um, let's grab it up, maybe a little bit of this. I do have silicone straws, I do have metal ones, but I also have one. I cleaned it recently, but it's roughly three years old, so I don't throw them away. I clean them. Let's try. Oh, that's a cute one. Oh, it's quite dark. I'm, I'm considering whether I want it light or not. And yes, I'll be making them at a different angle. Also, what happens if I add a little bit of white? Definitely. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Clumsy. The only thing is, now it's kind of... Um, too white. <laughs> well, this is my testing ground, this one. Let's see what we like. I like them a bit rounder, but not perfectly round. I want some imperfections. That's why this kind of pouring style flower is nice. Now I think that we are missing some buds. This one may be half open. Perhaps that's enough. Should be a bit darker because as usual buds are darker. They grow kind of in clusters, so one, two, might add a bigger one, I'm just wondering. See what happens if we blow without adding any color. Just curious, I'm going to check here. So we can have some kind of a ghost flowers. I'm loving the colors, honestly, absolutely in love with the colors. Okay, so we've got quite a big bunch. Now we want a few here and a few there, and that will be the end of it, I think. I am flying in less than, well, in 12 hours. <laughs> so this is my last painting before I go. I don't think I'll finish it. Finish once I'm back. Yeah, I haven't even packed. It will definitely help if I could move around the table. One day I'll <laughs> change the arrangement. Now I'll show you what happens. When we torch the flower, see that in the middle? Well, that's different to cells. I don't want to sell the background, but I don't mind a little bit of it. Looks a bit like pollen, so I think that's looking good. I grabbed a brush, but it could be anything else. Those flowers are probably getting dizzy from me rotating. As I said, I am definitely not trying to make them look perfect. But I want a really, really small bud. I'm not going to blow this one. I am going to shake it. I think we need something here and then maybe at an angle at the top. So two more things, probably. I think I'm happy. I'm going to leave them alone and come back once I am back in the UK. This is how it dried. I think the flowers are pretty nicely defined. If I wanted, I could use the same pots here and 
maybe go over some sections but I don't know if it's necessary but I could I could play a little bit and add touch heel there I'm going to use a pencil first because if I don't like what I'm doing I'm going to rub it off off center so this one will be connected and perhaps I do have some leftover burnt sienna, however, I definitely don't think that it will look nice with these colors. So let me put it down here and I'll mix it with the same pink I used for the flowers, maybe. Or maybe with a bit of gold. It doesn't have to be that realistic, so let's, let's just make it a bit more pink. These shrubs are quite interesting because the flowers grow almost directly on the branch. Well, I would say they have to be kind of sitting on the branch. I don't mind this brown. You see the difference? This was not orangey brown. This is a pinky brown, which looks actually quite nice with the pink flowers. So this is my main one. Going now towards these. What would be the right word here for this type of branch? A bit gnarly, that's for sure. All right. Well, I think I am rather happy with the progression and with the strange colour as well. So now, if I want it thicker here, that's what I'm going to do. Add a little bit of paint. I really enjoyed pouring those flowers. I haven't done any, um, I wanted to say, proper pouring for a long time. It's always fun. I find it always fun. If you are a perfectionist and you want to try and make everything so perfect, using straw to blow flowers, it, it's very helpful because you always get some random shapes. It's just the whether you, you stop yourself from fixing them, <laughs> that's the thing. Analyzing my picture, I've noticed that they've got some thorns as well in some places. So I've added a couple. I'm going to darken the central section a little bit before applying gold i think this is border i think this will look a bit better there is some blue peeping in places so that's fine okay i think that's enough i'm going to use the light gold and a very thin brush suppose i could use a needle as well i scooped that gold and I am going to touch some sections now. This type of flower has actually got quite a lot of yellow pollen. Now you see that this deep red will serve me only as a background. I want them a bit like 3D, those gold bits. They look like some golden jewellery bits. If you want them higher, you can add a second layer. I think I'm quite happy with them like this. Now once I made these with my straw, I'm actually tempted to use straw again, or perhaps a balloon. I haven't done balloon kisses for a very long time, but I also crave making some textured 3D piece, so maybe this will be first. Well, if you have any suggestions for me, I really, really appreciate it. Probably the hardest thing for me every single week is finding inspiration and finding an idea. I have to really sort of see it in my imagination, so it's not always easy. I do have a list, so if I don't feel, let's say, like making an elephant now, I still definitely want to make one or something else. I know that lots of you are creators and you paint as well. Would you mind sharing with us how do you find your inspiration? Where do you get your ideas from? And if you are inspired by one of my videos and you are creating something similar on social media, I would really, really appreciate if you credit me for the inspiration. I think that's a lovely thing to do. And thank you so much for all of you who do it. Also, thank you so much for sending me pictures. I love looking at all the pieces inspired by my tutorials. I feel great seeing that you actually took time to watch my videos and then you wanted to create something like that. It's awesome. I often sign my pieces on the side, but I think this one, let's do it here. This blue probably won't be seen, so I have to come back with white. But... Yeah, it's not really seen. Fix it with white. This cheerful brunch is finished and I'm going to take you for some close-ups. 
I think it looks very happy. I don't know if you can describe an artwork as happy, but this one has got very happy vibes. Well, there we are. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like or a comment. It really helps the channel out a lot. If you're looking for other ways to support my work, you can find extended versions of my tutorials each week on my Patreon, along with other bonus content and my original pieces for sale on my website. I am so grateful to all of you who support me on Patreon or have bought my pieces. We put a lot of work on these videos every week and your help makes it possible. Thank you so much for watching. See you next Saturday. Bye-bye.